Uh, he knew what he was doing. I played him earlier, that's the Yun that I said I fought, and I fought him twice, and he was hitting his links, and he, uh, we had some pretty close matches, you know, like, the other, the one that we just had was, was kind of close, but, you know. I didn't win. I didn't win any of them. I don't know about the Yun matchup, so, and I think this is the same guy, is it? Is, does he want the, does he want the run back? Oh, okay. I think I think this is the same guy. I'm not sure. Whatever. We'll uh we'll go for it. But uh you know back when I did play this game on uh on Super, not the arcade edition. I had low points usually, but I would go on some streaks and I can get to pretty much 2000 um 2000 PP when uh when I actually was was trying as hard as I could to uh to play. And uh, when I wasn't commentating at the same time. Cause I can do Call of Duty, you know, like... Oh, my punish combo didn't come out. Oh! Sure you spam. Oh! Hopefully this doesn't hit me, cause I did hit a button. Okay. That was supposed to be a grab, but uh, I didn't I didn't do my, my timing right, so... I don't know, messing up timing on a grab, like... <laughs> My punish combo! Why doesn't it come out? Well, whatever. Punish combo is simply... It's a, a standing, close standing, uh, fierce punch. And then I do a rising jaguar. And that does very good damage. And you could even do a... Um, a roundhouse in there before you you do the the combo to even make it stronger. And this is what a lot of a lot of online players do because the sure you can is a very good move. It's probably one of the best moves in in this game because of the properties it has. And you you can with with players who don't know exactly what they're doing. Um, and on me a lot of the time because you know you don't expect to uh, to, to run into that and it's it's hard to adjust when you're playing some good matches and then you get somebody that does that you know like that's a very um, it's very off-putting and a lot of a lot of players will do that with the uh, the Shotos and he he took that round I don't know why uh, probably uh, should have been a double KO but the damn magic pixel and I wouldn't be surprised if this guy beats me because I'm not good at this game and I like I said I I get sure you spammed a lot and uh, the best way to go about beating it, it see that's there's a punish combo and that that does a good amount of damage but the best way of beating that is definitely just to uh, debate it out and I sometimes that that works but sometimes it doesn't and it worked there because uh, you know he that's all he knew how to do but they'll mix it up with a grab so you can't exactly bait it out the same every time and then they get the advantage because they can uh, they can bait you into a wake up attack or, or do whatever safe jump you like they usually don't do safe jumps because you know they're not they don't know what else to do but there there's more that you can add to that strategy to make it a little bit more solid and in laggier games it does tend to work because you'll go to bait something out and when they don't do it you'll you'll like go to like do something else and then they'll do it because the lag it, it interferes with uh, your timing and whatever so you won't be able to block it and uh, you know people a lot of people do that especially low lower ranked players you know so that's that's why a lot of people don't like to play this game online because uh, you can get you can get away with that kind of stuff and in a normal setting uh, you either wouldn't be doing that because what's the point because you're like playing offline you're playing to get better right but you know whatever I'm, I'm talking too much about the sure you spam strategy I've done that before in my life so <laughs> you know no, no uh, I'm not taking away anything from him he's a newer player and you know like he's he's working on it I guess so uh, if he gets beat enough times doing that strategy then you know he'll definitely he'll definitely stop doing it and figure out you know something else to do so you know not taking anything away from him he's still learning now I got a Seth so <sighs> with Seth this this match is always um, I'm not sure what it is <laughs> Seth is either gonna perfect your ass or he's gonna just die like 
Seth is a very, very weird character to uh to fight because you never quite know the match, like what's gonna happen. Like a lot of the time when you're fighting Vipers and Fuertes and whatever, like that that can happen too, but not to the degree not to the degree of Seth because he does a lot of well he doesn't do like as much damage as some characters, but he does do a lot of combos and that seriously mind fucks you. He's very uh well, I don't I don't know how to play Seth, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about it, but whenever I fight him that's that's what I face, you know. Ah, I swear to God, that was gonna hit. That's some tricky stuff. Good thing I have uh, an EX to get through fireballs, because both of uh, the rising, well, not rising jaguar, but I think you could be able to rising jaguar through projectiles. I'm not exactly sure though, you know. And he's trying to bait me into uh, into doing the rising jaguar, and I see that, so I'm gonna let him. Uh, I'm gonna let him think that he can let me do that, but. I knew he was going to grab there. Oh, good shit, dude. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, Seth can, can do combos after combo after combo. And he played very, very safe there. He wanted me to come to him, and uh, that was my mistake. I should have realized that what he was doing, and I didn't until after I was dead, so. Ah, oh, fuck. You know, I'm really glad, though. Like, they, they took away Seth's jumping medium punch, and I don't feel like he needs that. So, Seth match used to be very annoying. There's a lot of jumping going on, I don't know why. This guy's just doing hit and run tactics, and I think that's a good way to play Seth, because he has, like, he, like I said, he has such low life, and his Shoryu is really fucking good. It's very, very good. I'm just gonna do that. I I don't know what he was doing there. I, I really suppose that was an input error, but... Um... I really need to work on my punishes, you know? I know what to do, I know what to look for, I know how, how and when to do it. I just don't. And... That is something that I really need to work on, and I know I need to work on that. So, if you guys are saying, "Ah, oh, you could have beat this guy if you did that there," I know, I know. Okay, I know. Trust me. <laughs> I I can look at my game from an objective standpoint and see that sometimes I do go autopilot, sometimes I don't do the right thing, even though I know what I should be doing in that situation. And what I can attribute a lot of my losses to is executional error because. My execution is very, very low. I, I, on a scale of 1 to 10 on combos wise, I can only do combos that are probably maybe a 3 out of 10. 10 being like, uh, I don't know, C Viper combos in this game. Just for this game specifically, because, you know, in other games, some things are easier to do than others, and it's hard to judge, so whatever. But we got an Akuma. And I think this match is in Adon's favor, though I don't see how, because Akuma is a very, very good zoning character. You can play him lame very, very well. Um, I see very, I'm saying very, very too much, so I'm gonna stop doing that. Oh, okay, alright, so I can't do that strategy. You see my, my cross-ups that I do all the time? This guy, he took note of that very, very, uh, well, not very, very, but, you know, um, quickly, quickly, I don't need to put very. Even though he did do it pretty quickly, and I see, I'm I know what I'm doing wrong. I understand the problem, but I, I'm just not doing it. You know, like that's that's one key example, and I don't know how to get over that. That's something that I don't know how to get over. There we go. Just stick out a uh, the a short. I don't know what this guy is doing. To be honest with you. I'm gonna go over here and try and bait a Shoryu. Nope, didn't work. I tried to get him when he landed, but he didn't demon flip far enough. 
For those of you that don't play Street Fighter, getting a hard knockdown from a sweep or a grab, that's that's money. That's what you want to go for. Because you can get um you can have positional advantage and um Okay, see see like I said, I know what he's doing, but I'm just not doing it. And that the, the that one doesn't hit crouching opponents. Oh, I didn't I didn't take note that he had meter to spend, or else I would have taken that into account, but Oh, and he just he just did the walk up throw, okay. Yeah, Kuma's walk speed is very good. It's really good. So he can pull tricks out like that on you. I could have won right there if I would have punished. And I tried to jump, but I don't know why. I guess I didn't hold my joystick in the right place, but good shit to him. He uh I think he mind fucked me a little bit, you know. This guy has some good Shoryukening, like, I'm not gonna lie. He, uh, he knows when to do it. And like I said, I could've won that match. I know where I went wrong. I see my mistake. I just have, I don't know how to improve upon it. He FADC'd that way late. I didn't expect that at all. I don't know why he did that. That was, he just... Okay, I, I see what I'm doing wrong. I keep going for a cross-up and the same thing. He's reading me like a book. I knew that was coming. I tech... Oh my god. I need to do stand techs more. Wow, this guy's going for some really unsafe stuff. Wow. Wow, good shit. Good shit, dude. I know I could have beat him, I I know I could have, but I didn't, and that's, that's, that's a weakness of mine, so, I'm sorry guys, I'll play one more for you, I'll see if I can, if I can win one more for you, um,